This is Joe Rogan's $70,000 racing simulator. And it's being built by Podium One, where my friend Bo just so happens to work and it's gonna give me the personal tour before they hand deliver it to Joe. So let's get right into it because you guys have never seen a racing sim like this. This is Joe Rogan's sim setup that we're building here at Podium One Racing. You're on the next step of Joe Rogan's sim build. The Joe Rogan sim build. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, Joe, 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 Is it like an assembly line or do they all to a certain degree? I want to go back there, pull what they need to for an order, come over here, get the chassis fully built, and then bring it over on the saw horses. If they need to debox, the wire in the debox, do the pedals, right. run all the cables, make sure you can't see any wires, uh, get the LEDs in, uh, and just spend a ton of time, multiple guys on each stem. So, what, what, like, sectioned off by like pedals by i mean just really whatever fits anywhere a lot of the guys just know where to go these boxes are client boxes so most of it is already sold uh, in fact i'd say all of it because you guys are selling stuff so fast exactly. it's like so we're just constantly ordering new things so all these monitors are already spoken for how much worth of systems are in these boxes i mean probably 34k in this one 34k i'm just excited to see joe yeah. rogan's setup That's like how long have you guys had that done uh, we finished it yesterday. Finished it yesterday? Have you guys just been testing it? We testing want to stress test the out of it. I don't want him to have one singular issue. Bring it Let's to Joe Rogan is crazy. Let's check it out. So we got an Anstar 4 chassis. We love advanced sim racing to make a great product. And then obviously the D box. Looking at the brake pedals, we got the semi-cube active brake pedal. We got the Husing Belt Ultimates for clutch and throttle. I love those. Um, now obviously we have flight on this too. So we have the Hotas Warthog Flight. Uh, what's really cool about this is you don't have to really change anything while you're sitting there. So you can go from racing to flying in about 30, 45 seconds. Right, okay. Uh, so full controls there. Uh, we love that. Ricardo was kind. Ricardo <laughs> got us this. A full carbon podium seat that we're going to gift to Joe. We love Aztec. Aztec Forte products are yep. phenomenal. Yep, so if you're good. not quite looking at getting something so robust, Forte is phenomenal. Samsung Arts. These are not Jeez. TVs. These are monitors. Right. So yeah, there's a difference. Oh, there's a huge difference. <laughs> there's no latency here. Let's go see this yeah. this PC because this thing is a freaking beauty. Is it like a LCD screen inside? There is. What speakers do you guys do you guys have around? So we use the Logitech 5.1 surround sound. I sat down and the sub is phenomenal. The yep. surround is phenomenal. It's, it's just an all around great, great system. In fact, I've, I've never ran it as loud as it needs to be. The audio is very clean. I saw that the wind simulators too, those are... Those are cool, yeah. The faster what you drive, the more right. it produces. They're great too. I mean, you sim race, you know how hot you get in the seat. More importantly, is this brake pedal. It's a semi cube active pedal. It's, electronic Load, actuator right but it does replicate abs it's like there's so many comments like about the videos you guys were posting like yeah. how is it even possible to get to seventy thousand dollars if like, you look at visaro ridiculous. or other companies <laughs> like cxc like they have plus six figures and then whenever you realize that we put a lot of the time that a lot of people don't want to put into it plus the components that we use i mean there's not one singular from left on turn you know what i mean let me get a laugh i thought i saw that like that's never been put on a sim before yeah, is that so this is the first time this is like the real podium gpc that's like meant for race cars so like it's meant for race cars yes, not for yeah, not, so for not sims. necessarily so we usually have a sim specific seat that right. isn't fia certified for like crashes or anything like that right that is it's a real recaro of course but it's just more sim focused um but this is like a real as real race car seat That's as you can get right um, it doesn't have full to... carbon back like yeah this is fia rated um but this was basically a present from recaro this is kind of like their the top of their line product and so um they kind of hooked us up with one and then we were lucky enough to be able to give it to as joe. soon as joe ordered you're like yeah we, we got the perfect spot the for it. yeah yeah wow so whenever i go feel the feel the seat i don't want you to feel the vibrations because that's from that's from the d-box like all d-box all the vibrations i'm like not sure how much i'm able to touch <laughs> the shake of the gear shifting on the seat is nuts yeah, i was, was gonna build. ask how long this how so long this took to we, we took our time with this one i mean this was full of extruder aluminum we had to sandblast every piece get it all fully uh powder coated I mean, there's a lot of r d that went into it a lot of time that went into it what struggles did you have on this on this rig I mean, we've just we've pumped out so many podium p1 ultimates at this point that's this is kind of routine knowing who's going to own this this is 
being Joe Rogan's, it has to be perfect. So we've just Obviously. put in a lot of testing, a lot of laps, a lot of flight, a lot just to make sure everything is going to be 100%. Do you know if he's going to put this in his, yeah, in his studio, studio, confirmed? As far as I'm aware. <laughs> you did Roman Atwood. Yeah, this is Roman. You did Kane Brown. Like, you got two few ones. Kane's a cool guy. That is... And then John Cena was there that day too. Was he? Yeah. Did you meet him? Yeah, it was crazy. That's insane. Dude. So my final thoughts on Joe Rogan's seventy thousand dollars sim rig, guys. It's obviously an incredible rig. I mean, they've put the best product in every category onto this rig, guys. So you're just you're really not going to find anything like this anywhere else. It's obviously different when you're seeing this thing over social media, but when you're you're in person, you can just see the build quality and the amount of work they have put into this sim rig, and it's just it's simply amazing. And they actually delivered it to Joe the other week, and you can see Cat Williams playing on the sim rig on his Instagram that he posted a few days ago. So it's awesome to see how much he's enjoying it already. And I just think this is just gonna blow up sim racing even more, guys. I think it's gonna get a lot more celebrities into sim racing, which is gonna get just more people in general into sim racing. And I just think that's really cool. So. Let me know if you guys think this rig is worth $70,000. I think it is. Like I said, they've put all the best products into this sim build. I know the guys at Podium One worked super, super hard to get this sim build ready for Joe, made sure there was no problems whatsoever before they delivered it to him. But let me know your guys' thoughts below. If you don't think it's worth $70,000, how much do you think it's actually worth? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next video.